Alright, my name is Matt Smith here at Colton RV. Uh, we're doing our travel, tu uh, Tuesday, travel trailer Tuesday here. And uh, one thing I really want everybody to do is please, first of all, share this video. Uh, share it with your friends. Uh, if you have any comments or any questions throughout the uh, video here, please uh, go live and ask, ask questions. I'll answer as many as I can while we go through this. Uh, we're going to start uh, today. We're going to go through the Keystone Passport. This is uh, a great unit here from Keystone. A um, couple, couple things walking outside of the unit. A lot of nice things what Keystone does is uh, they use the nice magnets on the back of uh, uh, the doors. So they, they stand up here. So you don't have to worry about the clips, forgetting to unclip it, breaking the clip, and break, you know, having to purchase another clip. You also, inside here, you do have uh, motion sense lights. And you can tell uh, when you walk up, you open the door, the light turns on so you can see all your uh, uh, equipment inside. Uh, uh, when you saw inside there, you're gonna see that aluminum framing. Uh, aluminum framing with the fiberglass siding. That's how this can be ultra light uh, camper. This is only 5,400 pounds dry, which is great uh, for a small vehicle or small trucks, uh, medium sized pickups and all that. Um, again, you're gonna have manual uh, stabilizer jacks, please remember, stabilizer jacks, not auto leveling. Uh, you do have to still level your camper uh, when you're setting up uh, by the tires. On the uh, front cap here, full fiberglass auto body paint. Uh, this is great uh, um, for fading and everything else. This is not going to fade. You got that auto body paint on there. And then you got your stone guard right here. Uh, what this does is actually when the rocks hit this, it actually uh, flexes in and deflects it down to the ground so it doesn't come back, you know, chip up your bumper on your truck while you're pulling the camper. You do have a three-year uh, structure warranty on this. Uh, it's gonna, uh, basically, uh, any parts that built this unit, uh, it's covered throughout the three years. Power tongue jack. You have uh, your light in front, uh, so at nighttime you can see what you're doing. And then again, power up and down. And then you have your manual backup, just in case uh, something goes wrong, you still have a backup to the, po uh, uh, the power option on this. You got your seven-way prong uh, plugs. So you gotta remember when, when you're purchasing these campers, they have electronic brakes on them. So you have to have a brake control inside your vehicle. Uh, what that does is it helps brake your truck and the camper evenly, so you're not using more brakes in your truck or all the brakes in the camper, uh, so they're going to wear nice and evenly for you. When you do purchase, you're going to get an uh, enclosed battery, a uh, main grade battery, so that's going to help run all your power options when it comes to the, the jacks, um, all your LED lights, and all that. And then you do have here, this is the uh, solar power prep. So while you're dry camping, you do have that option to get the solar panels and then uh, um, be able to keep your battery trickle charged throughout your uh, weekend while you're camping. And then again, here's the other side of this pass-through storage. You'll see the doors on these are really big. You can get nice chairs in here, tents, uh, whatever you need to bring out while you're camping. And your fresh water connection, city water connections all right here. Again, fiberglass all the way around which is nice again for one for insulation it helps insulate and the other one is uh you know it keeps it lightweight for you while you're traveling your uh slide here is actually um um uh, framed five sides on this so it is uh framed just like your camper here so your uh structure wise this is going to be pretty solid um you're not going to have to worry about uh, any leaks or anything else too. Uh, the way they run uh, the roof, just the same as the roof on this is a TPO roof. So you're gonna be well protected from water leaks. Again, I've, I've uh, said last week, you gotta always make sure to run this all the way out or all the way in. You don't want it halfway because you need the uh, frame pressing up against the seals to keep uh, uh, all the water out for you. You're on a cable system on this one. And then your pull tank valves are right underneath here. So when your slides in, you're dumping your tanks. You got your black water and your gray water uh, pull valves. Again, for first timers, you always want to drain your black tank first before you uh, go ahead and uh, uh, pull your gray tank. The gray tank's all your soapy water, so that's going to get your uh, 
your sewer hose nice and clean after uh, you, you dumped your toilet tank. Thematic wise, uh, the fridge, uh, this is going to have just a little bit bigger fridge when we go inside. It's eight cube, which is really nice. Um, it's uh, going to give you a little bit more space on there. And then you'll notice you got the window over here, which opens, and then there's an actual uh, other window on this side to get you a little cross breeze inside it too. Then you have your black water tank flush, which is nice while you're draining your black tank. You got the nozzle on top, you're uh, right underneath the toilet. It's gonna spray all the sidewalls down, get all that toilet paper and everything off the sidewalls and try to keep your sensors nice and clean in there for uh, the level gauge. And then you have your outdoor shower. It's gonna have hot, cold water and uh, a nozzle for you to rinse off. Pets, kids, you know, if you're getting dirty, if they get dirty while you're out hiking or on the beach or something like that. Moving around to the back, you got uh, the power cord, which is uh, pop pulls out, so there's no lugging it into the car carpet department. You can actually just push this uh, cord right back in, and that's going to uh, make it nice and easy to, for t uh, setup and teardowns. You are uh, Voyager has a prep system for backup cameras on this. Uh, backup cameras, uh, most people don't know, is it runs off your uh, lights. Uh, while you're traveling. So you have to have your parking lights on for those cameras to go on. So people that first time you go out trying to uh, pull your camper and you can't figure out why that light isn't on or the camera isn't on is because the lights aren't on and uh, you just need to turn it on and it'll pop right up for you. Back here you got a outdoor kitchen which is really nice on this 26, uh, the 2600 BH which I think I forgot to tell you the model number. So this has got the bunkhouse. You'll find a lot of bunkhouses, uh, you can fit this outdoor kitchen right underneath the bunks. So, it's, you know, you still have some storage under there, but you'll have uh, that outdoor kitchen. Some come with the two burners on this. Some will come with a, uh, just a sink and a fridge. Um, this is a, um, just basically a little wash tub. You fill it up, instead of filling your tank up, you take that and just throw it off to the side and uh, not fill your uh, great tank up. And then a nice little fridge for uh, um, beverages and all that other stuff you, you don't want to keep going inside the camper, which is really nice. On this awning arm, so we're going to back up just a tad. This awning arm is a nice, easy self-pitch. All you got to do is this arm right here. You bend it down, and you can see you can pitch your awning. This uh, will give it uh, uh, the rain can deflect whichever way you want to do um, and keep the rain down, or even if it's just sunny out and you want to pitch it down to uh, get you a little bit more shade if the sun's on that side of your camper. And then all you got to do is always remember before you roll your awning in, the arms need to be straight. We also have that 30 pound shock on these ones too. Uh, what that does is if you forget to pitch it and it's raining out after about 30 pounds, you'll see it'll just come down and self dump on it. So you get 30 pounds of water dumping right down uh, at that point. Power awning, nice easy, one push button out, one push button in, and then you have your LED light strip throughout this whole awning here. And you can see how big of an area you get uh, with this awning. You're gonna get a lot of space underneath this. Um, it's one of the bigger ones in the, uh, you know, when you're looking at a 26 foot living space, you're getting almost 20 foot awning on top of it. Uh, outdoor speakers. So you can play uh, your music inside, outside, which is really nice. You can do, even do it with your phone. Uh, Bluetooth, uh, it's Bluetooth, so you can pair your phone up to the radio and play your music inside and outside, turn the volume up and down, uh, all just by sitting outside. Um, plugs and TV hookups are outside too, so you can actually set up a TV outside if you really wanted to, or you can set up an ice maker, crock pot, or whatever, you know, while you're out camping. A lot of people do a lot of different things with it. Um, on uh, the axles here, you're going to notice a little bit farther spaced apart. So this is a load equal equalizer. What this does is it helps equalize the balance of your camper. The more the, the farther the tires are apart, the better the sway controls you, you get on it too. And then uh, you got your easy lift uh, uh, steps, the solid surface you're sitting on the ground. So when you go inside your camper camper doesn't rock around and uh, you're not going to get uh, basically you're not getting the sway around and motion when people are coming in and out 
This does have, if you look here, extended stay at season of camping. What that means is underbelly is enclosed, insulated, and it's gonna give you uh, that opportunity to go out in the late fall, early spring, and uh, run that heater, and it's gonna keep it nice and warm inside. It's got the floor duct heating in this one, where it's gonna keep the floors uh, nice and warm, force air in the belly, and keep your tanks warm too. And what we'll do is, uh, we'll see you got a big grab handle here. We'll go inside. We're coming inside uh, real quick. I want to answer uh, Timothy's question. Okay. He's asking if the uh, service department is open. Yes. So, yeah, during this time period, uh, we do have our service open. We have parts, and we are limited on sales here, too. We do everything by appointment, so that way we don't have a lot of people inside the dealership all at once. So if you call in, you can set up an appointment for if you need to dewinterize or get your camper ready for the season, or if you need some parts. Go, just go ahead and call in and we'd uh, be happy to help you out here. If you're looking for a camper, again, call us. Uh, we are still selling. We do set up uh, out in the campgrounds outside. We'll set up uh, um, your camper that you want to look at. D uh, we wipe it down, make sure that it's nice and clean for you uh, so you can feel safe. And being with the social distancing, our campgrounds are spaced out pretty well. So that way you're not going to be too close to anybody else when you come in. Um, any other questions so far? Um, nope. Okay. So when you're uh, um, inside this, what you're going to find in uh, the Keystone is they use a lot of LED lights inside and they also have the vaulted ceiling. So it gives you a little bit more height. So you got some people are six, over six foot tall. I'm 5'10". You can see how much extra room you actually have in here. Uh, with these vaulted ceilings. So it gives you uh, that space that you need uh, to feel comfortable and not enclosed. Uh, you get the U-shaped dinette. What's nice on this is you can get a nice four people in here and it's spaced out. You can see how much room you really have. Um, and then uh, being a U-shaped dinette, you can actually sleep two, two adults on this uh, pretty comfortably because of the length on it versus a regular booth dinette. Again, you'll see you got the two uh, windows that were outside, nice, easy, open, and then you got your nice pull-down shades, uh, so that way you got your privacy during the day and night. And then these have the dim switchers on it, which is nice. All you got to do is you tap it, um, it goes off, tap it, goes on. If you hold it, you'll see it dims out. I don't know if you can tell by the camera, yep. but it's all by a dim switcher, which is really nice. Keeps it, uh, you know. You don't have to keep it too bright in here. So if you're sitting here and watching your TV across from the dinette, uh, you can dim the light so you don't get the glare on the TV. We'll start over here. Uh, when it comes to cabinets, you can see you have nice lights in the back. So you can find whatever you want. Keep DVDs, um, knickknacks, and stuff like that in there. And then you get your glass covers. So you get this residential feel on your cabinetry uh, on the uh, Keystone product here, this Passport. And then you got the pull out. Uh, TV is on a control arm, and a, uh, arm, so you can angle this TV any way you want. And then you tuck it back in for traveling, and then you got the safety straps to keep it tied in. Uh, your Jensen radio, again, it's a DVD player, uh, Bluetooth, so you can watch movies on this and uh, get the surround sound feel with the speakers, uh, which there are speakers right up over here and back over here. So you get that uh, spaced out uh, speaker feel to it so you can watch a movie and get a little bit more theater feel to it while you're out camping if it's raining out or you're stuck inside for a while. Um, and then you get a little bit more pan, uh, cabinet space, a couple more DVDs or some other knickknacks in there. Um, you got your fuse protector, circuit breakers. So if anything should go wrong, again, this is always the first place you go uh, if you lose power on something. If you got some power to the camper and some don't, or some part doesn't, go in here and check your fuses and you should be able to figure it out from there. If not, then you go back to the main plug area and make sure that you didn't trip a, a fuse outside um, on that. Furion has their uh, stove top and oven. So you got this nice blue LED lights on this, nice easy control on off. Um, so you can use that as actually a night light at night. Um, and then you got your glass top that folds back, acts as a backsplash. 
Uh, you do have a uh, light above it. And then uh, one thing I kind of like, um, which most people don't realize, is they keep it kind of plain in here. But you can personalize this any way you want. You can get a backsplash uh, uh, put on. Uh, a lot of them use those stickers. But if you wanted to go a little bit more fancier, they've got the tile ones now where you can put in there and decorate it and personalize to uh, the way you want your camper because you want to make this feel a little bit more homey. So you put your, your special touch in there and you don't have to be the same as everybody else. You do have your microwave in here, my standard size, and more cabinetry in here. And then you still get a light in this one, but this one goes really deep in there so you can get some good uh, uh, stuff inside. Got your light in there so you can see what you're grabbing, you know, what you're trying to get. You have a residential uh, um, faucet with a pull down, and then stainless steel deep sink on this one. Again, the, the nice benefit of stainless steel is if you take a hot pan off the stove, you put it in there, you don't have to worry about it melting from the plastic. Otherwise, you'd have to keep it on the stove and uh, let it cool off first. You have your spice rack here. Um, and then uh, underneath here is actually, there's another light here. But you got a plug on this side, a plug on this side, so you can put a coffee maker, Keurig, toasters. Uh, you got enough counter space to put a couple, couple things on there. And then you got your residential, you look, you have your residential handles. It's not the little handles, you can fit your hand in there and uh, actually pull these drawers, uh, feeling like it's a, you know, nice solid drawers in here. Underneath the sink, you got the uh, trash can. Uh, most of the time people store this inside there so it doesn't fall out. And then you have another area underneath, which goes really all the way back there. So you can get pots and pans and whatever you need for your stove uh, for that there. Again, if you look, I said you got uh, floor duct heating. So this is uh, going to, again, it's going to keep your camper nice and evenly heated. And uh, it's going to keep your floor areas warm too. So in the morning, if it feels a little bit cold outside, it'll, it'll warm the floors up so you don't have to wear shoes or socks. It'll be a little bit warmer for you. Um, AC ducts throughout so they duct it so that all areas of the camper even in the bedroom and the bathroom have uh, that flow of air so that way it keeps it nice and evenly cooled in the summertime and this is a nice feature now most people don't uh, realize now is the campers are now starting to come with their Wi-Fi uh, boosters in them so if you're at a campground and uh, they have Wi-Fi you can boost their signal but also uh, with Furion, you can uh, get a data plant and get a 4G um, system, uh, a ro uh, 4G uh, data plan on it. So that way you can buy as you go. You don't have to have a monthly subscription. You buy as you go. So if you know you're going to a campground that out in, uh, you know, you know, out in the boonies, you know you're not going to have Wi-Fi, but you need to do work or you know you just want to have something just in case the rains out. You could do. Uh, a uh, uh, thumb stick in the uh, TV and, and use the data off of this. So you just call ahead or you go on the website and you just register for uh, when you're going out camping. Uh, there is, if you uh, come back here, uh, there are USB ports all over this. So there's two sets here. There's actually a plug back here for the uh, table area. Look in the bunk area back here. You'll see in the bunks, in the back of the bunks, there's plugs for both sets of bunks in there. And these bunks are over six feet long, so if you got uh, children that's growing, you know, pretty tall, then uh, they'll be able to fit into the bunk area here. Uh, an adult can actually sleep in this uh, on the one side. I don't think you can get two side by side, but at least you can get one in there. And then underneath here, you see the storage goes pretty back far deep pretty back uh, far back so that is going to give you a lot of space for sleeping bags tents or blankets um, even like a dirty laundry hamper or something you could put under there and then over here you got another plug over here for this side of the table and then in the bathroom here you're going to find that this is actually a pretty decent sized toilet um, pretty roomy here what you find in bunks is uh, your bathrooms are smaller because they put the tubs in it and everything else so you're limited on space but here you got a lot of space you can still get a sink inside 
a medicine cabinet, GFI uh, plug, so if you're running a hair dryer, you don't have to worry about um, blowing a fuse. And then under here is all your plumbing. And if you look in the shower, you got a nice tall shower in here. I mean, this is this is big because we got that vaulted ceiling. You got all the space, so if you're six two, six three, you can still fit in here, um, no problem. And you got the lawn for the shower, so you can uh, have a lot of room in here. Yeah, we got a question from Timothy. Okay. Asking if uh, the ladder is removable. This ladder is not removable. I mean, it's it's bolt, bolted on. You could take it off if you wanted to, but I would recommend that you leave it on. This is a 300-pound uh, uh, capacity on here, so me personally, I don't know if this is a kind of low-bearing for it. I would assume it is in this corner, so I would not uh, remove it. Um, over here, too. You got a nice closet in here. Go ahead and take. You got a light inside it, so you got a lot of space in this closet. And they leave it far back enough where you can put shoes there, brooms, uh, Swiffers, you know, whatever you desire. You can hang some stuff on the wall, so you have a lot of room in these, which is, you know, really nice because you don't get this a lot in campers. Uh, all that uh, closet space. I mean, it's almost a walk-in closet. Um, you got blue lights underneath the, uh, I mean, Keystone loves their blue lights. So you got blue lights under there. You can leave that on for, again, for like a nightlight at, at night. So you got under here, you got over by the table. So it's just going to keep that uh, floor illuminated for you. Here's all your control panel through the passport here. So your glide room, again, is all one pu a push button. You come in, turn the ceiling lights on and off. That's your LED lights outside, your power awning. And then you got your water pump control. The only time you're gonna use that is if you're dry camping and using your, your fresh water tank. And then uh, your water heater, six gallon, uh, six gallon water heater, but you have your LP and electric. So you can run it on uh, LP, um, but when you plug into a campsite, you change it right over to electric. You can use both as a quick recovery to, uh, if you're taking back to back showers. And then your battery controls here, fresh water tank, your black tanks and gray tank uh, level gauges all here. So you can see, you know, it should be all empty right now, right? So you're empty, you're ready to camp, so you're uh, good to go. All right. Quick question. Yep. No toilet paper holder? <laughs> no, <laughs> this one, uh, yeah, unfortunately doesn't have one in there, well, but there's places to mount it. And... A lot of times uh, they do come with the toilet paper holder. We don't install them for until you know you decide where you want the toilet paper because some people want it uh, in certain spots. So because um, usually they come separate from the manufacturer, and then we yeah put it on a delivery, right? We could put it on delivery. Uh, so again, some people uh, decide they want to do what a pedestal one, so they don't want anything screwed into the wall. So uh, we don't put them on unless you ask us to. Uh, some of them uh, do come in the ma uh, in the uh, packaging. I don't think that we have it in here right now, but uh, in the manuals uh, they do send them inside the little blue bags that you get for, with all the manuals. So this one doesn't have it in it, but you know they're easy to put in. Uh, this is uh, your fridge here, a cube, uh, one of the bigger uh, fridges for travel trailers. So you got a lot of space in here. This is also a propane electric, so if you turn this on, uh, it's going to run off the of power right now because I got it in auto. Um, when when you uh, unplug this, it's going to automatically flip over to propane, so that way your fridge stays nice and cold while you're traveling, and uh, you don't have to worry about your food getting ruined uh, if you're on a three four hour drive. I'm going to turn that back off for us. Uh, propane or your uh, fire detector, fire alarms are in here. Again, all. Uh, Code, you know, fire codes, you got to have fire alarms in here. Um, then you have your propane uh, LP detector here, which is going to be, uh, you know, again, if you get that sound, that alarm goes off, first thing you do, turn off your propane because you don't, you got to find out where that leak's coming from. You don't want um, it building up uh, in here and causing an explosion. So turn the propane off, open your windows vent it out and try to find the leak or have somebody professionally help you find that leak. Then you got your nice uh, bedroom area which has a 
walk around bed. If you look here, you got uh, power uh, uh, plugs on both sides of the bed and USB ports again. Uh, we're getting into that age where we have all digital, where you've got uh, cell phone chargers, um, your iPads, and all that too. And then you got another fire alarm inside here. You got your fire escape on this side of the camper. And then when you're looking at all your storage space in here, you're going to have plenty of room when it comes to that. So both sides of the bed, you have lots of room. The other thing Keystone does good in this one is they don't use the particle board. They actually use solid surface here, wood. So that way it's not going to collapse. So if you're getting in and out of bed and you push up on this, it's you're not going to fall through that. And it goes all the way through. So if you have a CPAP machine, uh, alarm clocks, whatever you want to put on the side over here, you have that room underneath the uh, cabinets. And a nice feature, look at this door. It's a nice uh, barn door, slide door on this. So this door is actually, uh, you know, looks a lot better, but it's a slide, slides over. And then over here, more storage. So you could put blank, uh, blankets, fold up clothes, towels, shoes uh, down on the bottom. Lots of storage in this unit for being a smaller one. You got your TV mount here and all your hookups up here. So you can mount a TV in the bedroom, watch TV in here too. It'd be separate from uh, the kids out on the back. And then underneath the bed, you got two separate areas here, his and hers if you want to call it. Um, but you got a nice storage underneath the bed that is not part of your underbelly uh, pass-through area outside. So this is going to stay uh, nice and secure in here. One nice thing when they're building these campers now is, again, they build these floors first. So these floors... Um, have uh, over 10 year warranty on these floors so they're if you notice on um, the cabinets when you look inside you can see it's the same flooring underneath there so that way it's all one piece so it's not going to curl up and uh, peel up on you after a while so the only cuts on the floors are for vents and the hoses anybody have any questions uh, at this point nope doesn't seem like it no um, so with the, uh, with the Keystone product here, the, uh, we carry the Keystone product, we carry Grand Design, we carry uh, Prime Time for travel trailers, um, KZ, there's a lot of uh, options here at Colton RV. We uh, will make sure, again, when you make an appointment, we will have it secured outside up front uh, during this COVID-19 uh, um, crisis. Uh, we, we respect your, uh, you know, you as a customer and us as employees, we want to make sure we keep our social distance and uh, um, make sure you feel safe. A question. Uh, Timothy wants to know if uh, we know where the water pump is on this trailer. The water pump on this trailer, I believe, let me hit the uh, pump, I don't remember where it is on this one. It's under the bed area. So the water pump is right, the fresh water tank is under this area here. So the water pump is actually right under here where you can see these screws here. So it's under this area here and that's where your fresh water fill tank area is out there. So you, if you needed to, I think the question would be for like winterizing and all that, um, that would be all right in this area, nice easy access to it. So that way you're not climbing under anything. Could you uh, tell us again the weight of the trailer? 5,400 pounds on this one, dry weight. Um, this is probably, uh, this is a 26, so it's close to 30 feet total length on this one. Uh, again, it's got the vaulted ceilings. And uh, did we talk about, we didn't talk about the furnace. Anybody, if you, nice Dometic, uh, easy to use. This is your thermostat for AC and the furnace. So it's, uh, you can put it in auto on AC and it'll keep it at that temperature and then the same thing when you put it on the furnace keeps it at that temperature too. Any other questions? Uh, yeah there's one service related one on okay. how much to do dewinterize a uh, uh, 20 foot imagine but we'll we'll get back to you Toby um, yeah, in the comments and uh, and then Joanne wants to know uh, if we're going to be doing a uh, showing the new solitude with the rear kitchen anytime soon. 
Uh, we could put that on uh, the list for seeing. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Which solitude was it? Just the rear kitchen. The rear kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could get that on the list for you. Um, keep following us, and we'll definitely uh, post when we're going to put that on there. The rear kitchen, that's a beautiful one, too. I was just in that the other day. Um, get that nice view over looking the den area and the TV, and it's got that you know, breakfast bar there where we can overlook all that, too. It's a very nice floor plan on that one. Um, if you want to, you can uh, call in, and we can get you a video, a personal video for you, too, on that one. Yeah, maybe we could do the same for Patricia. She's asking if uh, we're showing any Avenger ATI anytime soon. I know that one's uh, coming up. I'm not sure which week we're going to do that one. But again, if you want to see personal videos, you can, uh, you know, request it, and one of the, uh, you know, one of the outfitters like myself will go out and we'll do a personal video for you, so you can actually see it. And if it's something you want to see in person, then you give us a call, and we'll set it up out there for you. But that's usually what we're doing right now is we are um, doing personal videos for each of our customers because it's, again, we can't walk around the uh, lot uh, without having to wipe down the units uh, because we got to follow the guidelines to make sure that we're all being safe. But if you want a personal video, you can uh, message us and we will go out and get that for you. Okay. Uh, well, Toby's asking if I'm six feet away. And yes, yeah, I am. The, the camera's pretty zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> There's moments, but yeah, we're, we're usually, again, we all practice it here. We have tape. If you come in here, you'll see tape on the floor uh, at all our counters, all our service counters. Uh, we are uh, practicing our social distancing, yes. <laughs> I can't reach them, so. <laughs> um, any other questions? Again, please share this video. Um, we, uh, we're we trying to reach out to all our customers uh, in the area. And in, I mean, we still sell them in PA, uh, Iowa, Ohio. I mean, we're definitely selling a lot of campers still. Uh, the big problem, uh, which you guys all need to understand, is the factories are shut down right now. So the inventory we have is going to probably get a little bit depleted. But it's uh, you know, a great time to buy. We're, we're making some great deals. Uh, we want to move as much inventory as we can. When the factories start up, we'll have that room for them to uh, start shipping to us uh, as soon as possible. Um, when you see here, uh, the one thing I didn't talk about is the price of this unit. Uh, this is, uh, if you look at the MSRP, is 34887 and our sale price, if you finance through us, is $30,998. Uh, and your monthly payments, if you did 10% down taxes and all that, is right around two forty three, depending uh, on how you want your uh, deal structured. So a lot of people don't know, you can do 10 years on these, you can do 12 years, you can go up to 15 years, uh, depending on how you want your structure to be on a camper to keep your payments nice and low. Uh, so give us a call, we'd be happy to help you out. And uh, check out uh, the history of Colton RV because it's 50 years of family owned uh, business. And it's a great place to work and it's a great place uh, uh, to buy from. We treat you like family and we will be here with you throughout the whole, whole time. We do have that 40 uh, service base, uh, more than 40 service base uh, total now. So we can get customers in and out pretty quick for service too. So, you know, give us a call. We will definitely uh, be able to get you in before the camping season starts. And from what I hear, uh, most campgrounds will still be opening uh, May 1st unless uh, other things happen. Cool. On that, we uh, appreciate your time. And uh, again, reach out to us. Share this video. Um, and we'd be happy to answer any questions you have.